And finally, I want to thank each and every one of you all who are here tonight. Because you all are what this election is all about. You all made it possible. You know, we have traveled all across the 5th District. And we have heard from people again and again. All, all the way from Greene County, all the way down to the North Carolina line, from Henry County, all the way over to, to Lawrence, uh, Lawrenceville and Brunswick County. You know, people are yearning for change in this country, but it's not the kind of change that we got two years ago. You know, they yeah. want jobs, and that's what this election is about. People who understand that it's the private sector that, that creates jobs in this country, it is not the government. Yeah. They understand that if we are serious about creating jobs in the 5th District and across this country, we need to enact policies that promote the small business, the family business, and the family farm. And that's what we need to be doing in Washington if we're serious about job creation. If we are serious about that, then we need to allow folks to keep more of what they make so that they can, in turn, create jobs. And the same with our regulatory structure. that's become a crushing burden to those who, who make their livings in, in, in rural Virginia. We need to have policies that promote jobs, not kill jobs. And I am so glad that tonight those people have spoken. You know, but there's something else that we've heard as we travel across the 5th District. And it stems, I think, from a belief that the folks in Washington have been totally disconnected from those that they represent. You know, if you stop and think about the massive debt that we have in this country, $13 trillion in debt, $1.3 trillion in deficit spending, people understand, people understand that that's not money that we have to pay back, it's money that our children have to be pay back. And I think what people want as much as anything is they want to reduce the size and scope of government so that we can leave the same legacy to our children that was left to us. You know, our founders understood that. They understood it very well. Our, under, our founders, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and Patrick Henry, three men who had substantial connections to the 5th District, they understood tyranny, and they understood the sweetness of liberty, and they were willing to sacrifice their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor for that liberty. And they did it for themselves, but more important, they did it for us. They did it for the, every generation that would follow, and they have given that to us. That's our blessing. That's our legacy. And now is our time to protect it, renew it for the next generation. You know, our duty is clear. Our duty is clear. You know, a lot of people during the course of this campaign asked me, said, Robert, you know, are you worried about this election? Are you nervous about it? Do you lose sleep about this election? And I always said, you know, I don't lose sleep about November 2nd. Because November 2nd is an election, and I think that we have run a good campaign. I believe that if, I believe that if we executed our campaign the way we had planned to, that victory would be ours. But I can tell you what I do lose sleep about, and what I have lost to sleep about. It's not November 2nd, but it's November 3rd. Because, friends, that's when the hard work really begins. You know, this election has been a hard-fought campaign, and I'm proud of the way it's been run, and I'm thankful to each of you who have made it possible. But the real work starts on November 3rd. That's when those who are newly elected to Congress will go to Congress and will make a difference or not. That's when, on November 3rd, is when those of us who have worked so hard to make this election a reality have got to now work harder. Because it's now our time to make sure that we continue to hold our leaders accountable. They are accountable to the people. Let me 
finish by saying this. You know that there are some who believe that America's greatest days have come and gone. There are some who believe that when you look at the spending and you look at the policies, you look at our society, they believe that the American, the American uh, century has passed. You know, I don't believe that. And I'll tell you why I don't believe it. I don't believe it because of our three children, because of your children, because of your grandchildren. That's why I don't believe our greatest time has passed, because that, that is our future. And I believe that's what, that's what this election is all about. I also believe that because our founders, you know, you stop and think about the guts that our founders had. You've got to think about the ragtag army that went up against the greatest military operation the world had ever known. And we, and we were victorious because we were on the right side, because we were on the side of the angels. So it's, that's the reason that I don't believe that our, great, our greatest days have passed. I believe that our greatest days are to come. Thank you so much for your support and love. I appreciate everything that you all have done. Now is our time to go to work. God bless you. God bless the 5th District. And God bless America. <laughs>